Uh, here we go. Recently, I let somebody go for various reasons. They aren't relevant to this question, however. Good. Thanks for not sharing those. Uh, they have been, they, I guess the person who got let go, has been out there running their mouths and saying things that aren't completely true, while partially true. Do I address it or let it go? <clears throat> so you've let somebody go for various reasons, and they aren't, and uh, they're out there running their mouth, uh, saying things that aren't true about your company, I'm assuming. Well, I always default to this. I always default to uh, who cares? They're gone. They obviously got let go for a reason that made their absence worth more to your company than their presence. I mean, really, isn't it just that simple? If we let somebody go, regardless of the reason, generally their absence is um, not nearly as, um, they're not going to be missed nearly as much as somebody who is completely necessary to the company. So do you address it or do you let it go, these things that he's saying? Um, I always err on the side of letting it go. And I err on the side of letting it go because why do you have time? I mean, you're, you're a leader in an organization. You've got people who are still there. You've got a mission to carry out. You've got a product or a service to execute on. No, don't mess with it. Now, if, he's, if you're in a product-based thing or a patent-based thing and he's running his mouth about your product and, it requ and it's interfering with your ability to do business, then perhaps you seek some legal counsel. 90% of the time, that's not what happens. It's usually petty running their mouth, you know, trying to throw you under the bus. So don't let your pride get in the way. Just manage it purely from a business perspective and ask yourself, is this person really saying anything that I care about? Really? Probably not. Oh, you might care about it, but don't burn your time. Now that's hard to do because, you know, sometimes we want our pound of flesh just like everybody else. I'm just telling you, it wouldn't be worth it to me. So assess what they're saying. Determine whether or not it has any real impact on the business. I'm talking about real, tangible impact on your product or service. If the answer is not really. I just think he's being a jerk, or they're being a jerk. I don't guess it says it's a man or a woman. Um, then, uh, if they're just being a jerk, then I know I wouldn't. And what's probably going to happen is they're going to get another job, and they're going to go away, and the more fuel you add to that fire, the worse it's going to be. All right? I'd leave it alone unless it's having significant impact on the business. All right? Take care. See you next week. Bye, everybody.